Okay, do I have everything to care for my darling? And their favorite snack. Check. <laughs> well, I mean after me, of course. The sedatives, if they misbehave. <laughs> Check. The lingerie in their favorite color. <laughs> Check. As well as a backup set, of course. It never hurts to be prepared. There's also the thermometer. But I'll just pretend I forgot that so I can feel their forehead directly. Well, is there anything I'm forgetting? I know there must be something. No, I forgot a good excuse for what I'm doing in their room in the middle of the night. Watching them sleep. Let's see, what are my options? A dream? No, what if they pinch themselves? A guardian angel. What kind of angel wears a skimpy nurse's outfit like this? Mm. Mm. Oh well, I'll just wing it. Hopefully, in the worst case scenario, they understand. They'll understand, right? I'm just doing this out of love. I know they've never met me, but I meet them about a million times while I watch them from behind the bushes. So that's more than makes up for it, right? They're understanding, right? They'll never put a restraining order on me, right? Just look at their face. That's an understanding face, isn't it? Wow. Seriously, look at that face, though. It's even cuter when asleep. So cute, 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 cute. None of the 15,230 pictures I took of them can even begin to compare to the real thing in person. It's so adorable. Adorable. It makes me want to kidnap them so badly. But, but no. They don't need that right now. They're sick. They don't need the stress of waking up in an unfamiliar place. What they need is special and tender care. Super tender. Maybe even some kisses on those oh so kissable cheeks <laughs> how can i resist kissing a face that cute i mean every last detail is perfect down to the very atom especially their eyes you can really tell when they're open like this wait they're open they're open. Oh, hey, rise and shine. Well, maybe not so shine because it's the middle of the night. <laughs> Which is a funny little detail because you're not usually awake at this time. Don't tell me one of the symptoms of your sickness is insomnia too. <laughs> Oh. oh, sweetheart, you're sick. You should just get some rest. Don't bother about tiring your voice out. Especially not to ask questions like, Who are you? Or, How did you get here? Or, What are you doing in my room so late at night? All you have to know is that I'm here for you. And I want to take care of you, so... Don't, don't get up. Don't get out of bed. Just lay back. Get some well-deserved rest and let me take care of everything. I already, I even did your dirty laundry for you. One of your shirts went missing, though. I don't know where. Don't give me that look. I'm innocent. But other than your mysteriously lost shirt, my care for you is flawless, so you can rest easy and assured. 
I am completely qualified to take care of you. I'm trained in this kind of work. I have my degree in everything. It's a hundred percent real, a hundred percent legitimate. So just trust me. In fact, you're the one who inspired me to take this kind of career path. I thought, you know, if you ever got sick, then being a nurse would be very convenient. And so, here I am. Also, it doesn't hurt that I know you like the outfit. That's why I'm wearing it. <laughs> Despite how tight it is. Are you thirsty? I mean for drinks. <laughs> I've got some nice cold bottles of water with me here. I made sure to bring my cooler so it would be nice and cold for you whenever you woke up. I do also have some room temperature water bottles if you're into that. And the bottles are all sealed tight, so you know I didn't tamper with the drink. Maybe one day the two of us will reach a point where you won't be so suspicious of any drinks I give you. But for now, I'm willing to work around your suspicions. No offense taken. So what would you like? Warm? Cold? <laughs> Coming right up. Excellent choice, I might add. My taste is the same, actually. Okay, here you go. Oh, sorry. Her hands touched. I didn't mean to. Sorry. But maybe you're not sorry? Oh, I'm only teasing you. Don't worry about it. Don't bother wasting so much mental energy over thinking about it. Just rest. Rest, rest, rest. That's all you need to worry about. And that's what I'm here to help you do. And I just say, I love how cute you look when you drink water. Oh, but I know it must sound redundant to you because you look cute doing everything. You look cute when you're shopping, especially when you've got that expression that says something like, eh? <laughs> Should I buy it? Should I buy it? Absolutely adorable. And you also look cute when you're trying to decide what song to listen to. Excellent taste, by the way. You really directed me to my favorite songs. We should listen to them together sometimes. I mean, we already have a lot, but we should listen to them together while you're aware we're listening to them together. But I'm kind of trailing off here. The point I'm trying to make here is that you are cute, 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 and I will have none of this, but I'm not cute nonsense because you're cute. Why else? Do you think I would have 15,100 photos of you? And that's not including the videos, obviously. Oh, but I'm sorry if maybe you're a bit offended about me having so many photos of you. But tell you what, I think I can make it up to you. What if you had a bunch of photos of me? Wouldn't that make us even? Because I have a little envelope here. Why don't you take it for safekeeping? It just happens to be full of some selfies. There are a ton of me in some other outfits. May, Nico, which, you name it. Most are innocent. Some are less so. Just let me know if you want some alone time with them. <laughs> and I can send them to your phone, too, if it's more convenient for you. Don't worry, there's no need to give me your number. I already have it. I hope you don't have pictures of any other women on your phone. By the way, I'd delete them if I were you. I'll make an exception for family members, though. I'm a bleeding heart, I know. That aside, are you hungry? Because I have just the thing for you. I just have to have this thermos here. Well, it's one of several. 
I have on me, actually. See, I have a bunch of different chicken soups on me because I didn't know which one you would prefer. I wouldn't want to come all this way just to give you soup you didn't like. I labeled each thermos with which type of soup inside, so let me know your preference. And the soup will be extra good for you since you're sick. I know chicken soup has been known as a home remedy for a cold for ages, but that's not just a paro-scientific myth. It really does help with congestions, so just tell me which one looks most appetizing. If you don't know which one you prefer, then I can give you my recommendation. Or if you don't like any of these, then if you're all right with it, I can go to your kitchen to whip something up for you. Okay, then I'll give you this one. Hold on, just let me pour it into a bowl for you. I brought my own bowl and spoon so I can make sure they were extra clean. I wouldn't want you to get more sick. Okay, now just let me blow on it for you. Just to make sure it doesn't burn your precious, precious tongue. There we go. It should be just the right degree of warm now. Would you like me to feed it to you? You need to get your rest. We wouldn't want you wasting your valuable energy feeding yourself, now would we? So, what do you say? Okay, it'll be my pleasure. I'm so excited. I never expected you'd actually say yes. I thought I was being too pushy. Okay, here's the first spoonful. How does it taste? Well, I'm delighted to hear that. I made it myself, actually. The soup wasn't just bought from the store. I think you like the taste so much because the special ingredient was my love. That's not a light way of saying I drugged it or tampered with it. The soup is completely harmless, I promise. And you can trust me because I'm telling you it's not drugged after you already had some. So it would be pointless to lie now. I'll keep on feeding you. Don't say a word, just relax. I'm surprised you didn't ask for the spiciest soup I had. Judging by the looks you're giving me, I'd say you like spicy things. <laughs> oh, it's okay, darling. You can stare if you'd like. I'd never wear anything this bold in public. I'd die of embarrassment. It's all just for you. Just for you. Your eyes only. Your pretty, pretty, gorgeous eyes. They really are so breathtaking. Especially when they're only looking at me. How do you feel? Is your congestion getting better? That's good. I want you to feel better. I just want to care for you. You're the most valuable person in the entire world, so we need to devote as many resources as possible to caring for you. And speaking of caring for you, we should take care about your sleep schedule too, shouldn't we? Staying up in the middle of the night isn't going to be good for you, especially when you're sick. As much as I love staring deeply into your eyes, you should get some sleep. Maybe I could help you with that? You know, I'd do anything for you. Absolutely anything at all. Give that some thought. <laughs> Maybe I could give you a lap pillow. I mean, fill your pillow. It's soft, but nowhere near as soft as my lap. S so... Being the clear winner here, it's common sense that I should give you a lap pillow here. Hold on, let me just get into your bed.
There we go. I bet you didn't expect to get me into bed this early, did you? <laughs> now just rest your head on my lap. Just like that. Well, I didn't lie, did I? I'm super soft, aren't I? And I'm not just talking about my lap. <laughs> You're so cute to tease. Look at that blush. Precious, precious, precious. Every moment with you is picture perfect. It makes me want to take even more pictures of you, but now isn't exactly the time. I wouldn't want to disturb you. I'll just have to wait until you've fallen asleep. You need to sleep, which is why I should probably stop talking so much. At least I should stop saying anything you have to think about anyway. Maybe I could try humming. Something nice and calming to put you to sleep. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Just leave it to me, honey. Mm hmm.